you can see there's this line of officers. They have now cleared this part of the road down to Olive Way, which is where we watched as they forced people back to allow room for those Seattle Fire Department trucks to enter this area safely. <coughs> we have not seen anybody make it as far as the firefighters, and most of the clashing has ended once people got forced back. This doesn't seem to be the place that people are, are clashing with police. We're hearing screaming and cheering from the corner here. We're gonna go take a look here. Just stick with me guys, we've got a little bit of a walk here and, and like I say, it's just a driving rain right now out here. So you've got the haze from the rain and we're standing in a cloud of smoke. It, it's kind of hard to determine everything that's going on here. And to give you just a little more perspective, the, the protest that was organized is, is just down there where we've been hearing from Amy. I mean, we're, we're only a block and a half away from where where this, this the peaceful section of this began. We've got a car driving through this group of people that we're going to take a watch here. Honestly, I don't know how they got onto this road in a vehicle, <coughs> vehicle right now. <coughs> Excuse me, we're okay. We're just, uh, we keep catching the edge of uh, pepper spray and, and gas and it's very irritating even at a distance. Guys, I just have to say there's just another surreal element to this with coronavirus and, and the request for face coverings that everybody's under right now is, you know, you see so many people covering their faces uh, and, and you don't know why. If somebody's trying to obscure their identity because they're going to commit an act of violence or whether it's to protect yourself from a disease that somebody might be carrying. So. Certainly, it's a, it's a surreal atmosphere down here. And people have just entered the Eileen Fisher here. That's what we were hearing cheers as the windows were broken. And you can see that people are inside right now, ripping monitors off the wall. I'm seeing that happen right now live. Oh my gosh. Somebody just ripped like a 70 inch monitor off the wall inside there. And there, I haven't seen. People cheering in the distance. Just the, the tinkle of broken glasses everywhere. It's been violence already. Some members of the Seattle Police Department and protesters have been injured by fireworks. The mayor is about to hold a press conference at 6 p.m. tonight. So that's uh, just less than 50 minutes from now. We will hear from Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. But you're looking at the aftermath. There's the old Navy store. Look at that merchandise strewn out by looters all over the sidewalk in the Seattle rain. Um, you know, it's one thing to protest the death of an innocent black man in Minnesota. It's quite another thing to just literally destroy your city, to, to break windows, to loot, to set fires, to attack first responders. Um, that's, a, that's an entirely different matter. Um, and Seattle has seen this in the past. There's, there's a, a mindset that's adopted by some and unfortunately is contagious in situations like this where people feel empowered to simply break the law and to do the wrong thing. And we're looking at it right now, taking joy in the destruction uh, of property and the destruction of our city. So as we mentioned, Seattle under a curfew as of five o'clock, the mayor will address the city at 6 p.m. We just got that word from the emergency ops center just a few minutes ago that the city is asking all residents in Seattle to disperse from downtown. Immediate curfew took effect at 5 p.m. It's in effect until 5 o'clock tomorrow. So we're looking at that Westlake area. And Westlake, as you know, we mentioned a little bit ago, Seattle police respond to about 300 protests a year. They call them free speech events. Most of them end peacefully. This one did not. Uh, welcome to King 5 if you're just joining us. I'm Mark Wright in the studio for the first time in probably a month or two at least a couple of months here. Uh, I wish I could be with you on a different situation, but here we are. Um, this protest started at noon today, just outside Seattle Police Headquarters on the edge of the Amazon District near Stewart. Um, at three o'clock, another protest started peacefully, uh, right where you're looking, at Westlake. People were listening to speakers, they were peaceful, and then just about four o'clock, everything just came unhinged. and. People set fire to a police in downtown Seattle. 
Again, for perspective, this is this is Bon Mar, isn't it? Or excuse me, Nordstrom, right here on the corner. Oh, people have just gotten inside, actually, the Nordstrom here. You can barely see it through the smoke, and we're going to stay back. You can see the Chanel store back there inside, the Nordstrom bar. People have just broken through that door just seconds ago and are entering. Police are, are not 30 feet away, maybe 60, uh, keeping the line of protesters back uh, as firefighters work on these burning cruisers. Nobody is intervening as these people enter this business here. We're hearing more, uh, more explosions off in the distance. And, and really, I have to tell you, the surreal thing about this is it is just pouring rain on us at the same time as well. Which is usually sends people home in protests like this, but certainly people are willing to brave the elements here. I still don't know what that flash is that's coming from inside that one vehicle. Could be unignited fireworks. We've seen people throwing fireworks here. More people are entering the Nords from here on the corner. We did see some businesses that were boarded up in sections. An Abercrombie and Fitch in the, in the main enter, entry for the Westlake Center were boarded up. Uh, obviously these windows are not and people have, have just broken through and are, are looting inside and taking things. We can see them running around inside the lit store while uh, emergency crews do the work out here of, of a, uh, extinguishing these vehicles. Look, people taking pictures through the window of folks running around inside 